Hi there. In this video we are going to be taking a look at this Einhall vacuum cleaner which hopefully will be able to replace two other vacuum cleaners uh, in our house. So the model number TEVC 18 slash 10 lithium solo. Basically uh, solo means that it comes without battery and charger but I have uh, where are they come up here three batteries and two chargers. So I think I'm uh, I'm covered in that uh, part if you need to see what it is cordless wet and dry vacuum cleaner uh, what they say uh, the hose has 2 meters and the diameter is 36 centimeters 90 millibars uh, of vacuum 10 liter uh, compartment which is awesome it's big and it has a blowing function meaning that you can blow air from the other side using the hose which is really important because uh, I will explain uh, why in a moment 18 volts obviously and something that I really like that uh, they started to include you need for best performance minimum 2.5 amp battery honestly I will test with 2.5 with 4 amp and with this beast of 6 amps. Thank you Einhell for sending this in. Uh, and see what's the difference in uh, suction power. Anyway, that's about it. What else? Battery cover, yes. Carrying handle, yes, obviously. 10 liter tank, that's awesome. Such a big tank. Uh, blowing function once again. And the accessories will be attached directly to it and these are included we will be taking a look at them in a moment box is opened up and vacuum is out and it had a weird protection at the front of it not sure exactly for what i will try to figure that out ah it was in this area so presumably because this is longer it will not get smashed We'll take a look quickly through the manuals and get back to you if anything useful in here. Take this off because now the switch can toggle. That's a nice feeling switch. Really tactile. Long travel. Yep, I like it. Uh, yes, we can get three years of warranty if we register on Einhell website based on the serial on this label right here so i will be registering the, the product for one extended uh, year because normally in my country we get two years but like this two plus one so that's great uh, yeah if you need to see the info on the label here it is feels nice feels yeah, it's not light, don't get me wrong, like, this is not light, but feels well built, feels like the type of plastic uh, plastic that will bend before breaking, so it's not a brittle plastic for sure. The only downside, and my wife wasn't 100% happy about it, doesn't come with uh, any type of rollers. Uh, for me, not a deal breaker. I can carry this around anywhere in the house without issues. She might not be that happy to carry it around, but I think I can actually glue some wheels onto it. Don't drill into this because this is the water container. If you drill into it, it's like drilling into a bucket. Doesn't make sense, but we can glue onto it if we need to. Let's open it up. Uh, it's like, let me move the camera. Uh, something else. I, I really like these labels they put on the products with this texture. I know it sounds stupid, but something like this can make you uh, be more attracted to a particular product. So, yeah, it's good. No stupid uh, rubber uh, inserts because this will get dirty 
and rubber is hard to clean so I prefer plastic all over on something that will get dirty a lot so this which is exactly as toolboxes have pop out seems to be fairly thick so I don't think there will be issues with it hopefully uh, here I'm not sure what could have been ah maybe I think here we are putting the attached ones yep presumably that's it so yes the heaviest part obviously is where we have the motor which seems to be in this area right here okay so this is the battery compartment same type of uh, plastic that doesn't feel brittle at all so that's perfect we have this um, dust protector so it's it's kind of a filter in all reality but where should it actually go is it only going like this or should it go on over i think it goes over the whole thing something like this makes more sense so you can uh, vacuum with it without using this thing directly in here for a lot i don't know wood chips or something like that they will not go into the motor you take this out you clean it it's uh, i'm not sure if it's washable or not but seems to be some kind of a textile material so I, I i think you can clean it a few good times we'll check the manual maybe it says if it's washable or not somebody was reporting online that dix this, this uh, looks for him quite familiar to some other uh, family of vacuums from some other brand or something like that not sure so presumably some other standard filters will fit in this I don't know I will use this but mostly I will use stuff like this and for sure I will find universal ones and I will explain in a moment why we can use universal ones so we don't need to pay a big price for original ones I don't even know if Einhell actually sells this this as original or they are from other uh, universal brand whatever so you have one of these included which is huge <laughs> that's quite cool we have this which is really interesting it's not like any other that i have used you can see how it flows it bends extremely easy so it's like a like a silicone plastic like a hmm really stretchy so it's small but it can stretch a lot and it stretches quite easily so it will not pull the vacuum after it when you stretch it this is cool honestly this one with short uh, hairs and a longer one where's my hey i had the scissor and anyway, i need to find it one rogue hair uh, you can take this off if you want to or need to in theory at least yeah, we should be able to take this off. I'm quite convinced we can actually slide it in this direction. So pull on this to lift it. That That's the locking part of it. And then slide it out. And you can basically vacuum water with this. It's flush. Okay. And now again for other stuff like a carpet or something like that this doesn't come with big attachments for carpets or for for stuff like that it, this is mostly for workshops but that will not stop me from using it for the whole house or at least trying we will see how it works and this tiny uh, one that's for uh, cramped areas small spaces which you can use in uh, I think two ways like this or like this so that's quite interesting but can we take this whole thing fully off no we cannot 
or at least not easily. Anyway, and this makes sure uh, that foam will not get into the motor when you are vacuuming uh, liquids. So this goes right on top here. And you can buy replacement ones for this. And maybe in time I will buy, but I, I'm not going to vacuum water too much with it. That's just the odd use case, so I will see how long this one will last, because obviously you can clean it. You don't, just make sure you don't tear it apart. But other, uh, otherwise you can clean it. Wash it, basically. So, yeah, this is for preventing foam to get in the motor. And yes, this is the input for the air, and this is the output, and this is one of the reasons I bought it. Connect this, and now you have air output, so you can blow stuff away. I can clean computers and laptops with this. And, to make it more concentrated, I will put this, and now I have a concentrated nozzle to uh, blow stuff away. That's This is replacing my uh, Black & Decker. I kept that one only for the blowing part. Now this one can do it. And this is also replacing uh, my Bosch. I kept that one only for the water, and suck, water suction part. This can uh, suck in water. Bosch is also going away. So, two vacuums being replaced by this. This is one of the vacuum cleaners that will be replaced. It's a Bosch. <sighs> it uh, can draw water and it's filthy, as you can see. Uh, but the real working capacity actually is quite small. Uh, you need to use all kind of weird things to not let the water foam up. So this will be cleaned up and sold. I, it's much too complicated, much too big and heavy. Yes, it goods, it, it's good, it's powerful, but not why, what I hoped. And if I try to use it uh, to also, where is this attachment? To also spray water to clean stuff, you have to have this hose clamped alongside this one. It's no, it's just really cumbersome to use, not worth it. So the Einhell can draw water, I can spray water with something else and just draw it with a vacuum and be done with it. So this, bye bye. This Black & Decker is another one that will get replaced by the Einhall. So two of them up until now. This thing is only for really small jobs. It gets full really, really quickly. I kept it only because it can actually output air through this via this thing and this so I could clean laptops, computers and whatnot. But the Einhell can also output air, so this has no purpose anymore. It will be sold. And another thing, I am also replacing a vacuum that has actually failed since. I will link the video in the description and has been recycled. But I'm left from it with many of these bags because it died out right after I bought about 30 of these bags. So hopefully, if we are lucky, this will fit in here. Are we lucky or not? Yes, we are. <laughs> and yes, you might think, hey, but that's not fixed in here. Doesn't need to be fixed. The fact that it goes like this, it's enough to make it full. So it will not fall out of here. But let's take a look at its original one, how it uh, actually fits in here. Yeah. Make sure we don't break it. Of course I can buy universal ones of the same size. It's, uh, it's a no-brainer. I will just use this when I go to the store and find something that's exactly the the proper size for it. I'm not sure what's the correct orientation. Anyway, yes, this one is a bit more snug in here. 
but you can still get it out fairly easy. This one just a tiny bit easier, but I still think I can uh, I can use them. We'll see if it come. No, it doesn't really come out by itself. So you you kind of need to pull on it. Nah, we'll see. Might might not be usable. Does it have something to hold it in place? Well, actually it does. Wait a second, I can use this for sure. These are holding it in place, are actually holding it right here. Look at this. Da -na -na -na. Uh, <clears throat> that's a bit too tall. Rotate it. Hey, st still too tall. That cannot really be... Nope. Not too tall, I think. Yeah, a bit too tall, but I think it's uh, doable. I will see. I will just cut a tiny bit of, uh, of the top from it. But, uh, yep, it's usable and it's doable. Does this have a seal? Yes, it does. It's like a foam all around. You can see it in here, hopefully you can. Camera focus that so it seals right against this edge if that doesn't seal this thing doesn't uh, suck hmm. it kind of sucks but not in the good way if that doesn't seal so i just need to make sure that we have uh no we actually if i i think i used it in the all all wrong directions i had it like this had it like this but never like this so yeah i can use it for sure with my old uh... yep it's a fact i can use it with that which is perfect so basically replacing three vacuums with a single one from einhell and the fact that i don't need to plug it in while vacuuming throughout the house it's awesome and yes i have some uh, big house vacuum attachments for uh, carpets and whatnot from older vacuums that I had over the years so the fact that it only comes with uh, these atta attachments doesn't subtract for me at all from its usability so I'm not using it basically only for its intended use in a workshop I'm using for the whole house if I can do it that's gonna be awesome if not yeah I will think about what I will do next but I don't see any reason why I cannot use this in the whole house honestly Yes, and if you want to see how this attach, that goes in there, and presumably this goes in, in here. Does it go in here? Doesn't it go in here? This one is a bit... Okay. Maybe like this. Who knows? They're in there. But the fact that this has such a big bucket i can always simply throw everything in come on and be done with it call it a day forgot to show you something yep that's a valve that will seal the input if water gets uh, too high in the container that's nice so it will basically stop itself from uh, getting damaged even if you are not paying attention Bosch try to learn something from this so I will show you the pictures with the numbers and feel free to pause at any time And here is the info again. Feel free to pause at any time. So it has about uh, three kilograms without battery. This has about one kilogram. So with the big one, about four kilograms in total.
Okay, and next I think, yep, if something doesn't work, hopefully we will never use this page. And that's about it. Is it more? Yep. So feel free to pause at any time, even here. And we're done. Forgot to tell you, this doesn't have a HEPA filter or whatever it's called on the output and fancy stuff like that. I don't really care what this thing can filter. It's enough for my needs. I have air filters uh, throughout the house. I will link one in the description from IKEA. Those will be responsible for cleaning the air uh, once I do it, the thing with this one. So yeah, I'm just taking a look and get back to you. You know what's not fully clear from uh, the manual? If when I use this, I also need to have this on. I will presumably use both this with this or actually no, I'm going to do something else. I will use only this and see if any dust comes up on the rest of the components. If no dust escapes this, uh, huh, you know what, if this would break, then this would suck in all the dust, but if it already has this on, then this would save it from uh, getting destroyed. Or at least really, really, really dirty in there. So I might actually leave this on even when using this. I don't think it will uh, affect the suction power too much because the surface is quite huge on this. So in theory, there are two variants. Only with this and using this as a bucket for bigger stuff, for really fine dust, basically in the house on carpets and whatnot, what I intend to use it for with this. But they don't tell you if you also need to have this at the same time. I will put it. So to have two filtering mediums in theory, could this could not be necessary, but it's just a prevention of catastrophical events when this gets torn out and everything goes in the motor. Uh, yep, although this is kind of a clot, but it can still fail in a way or another. Yeah, I also have from another vacuum some of this stuff, which in theory will work one way or another. We'll see. When using this, you don't put any other filter, only this and water will gather in here. And when this closes, it doesn't know to automatically shut itself off. It will just make a louder noise because it's not getting any air into it. So you need to shut it off when this is full and obviously go empty it. And yes, this it's a bucket. You can clean it under running water with soap, with whatever you want. Just don't use really abrasive stuff or solvents. And don't vacuum with this explosive substances or uh, hot stuff. I don't know, a burning stick or something like that because it's plastic. You can set it on fire. And uh, yep, that's about it. We'll start to use it and see how everything goes. Something that I'm not a big fan of. This just clips behind that little guy right there in the middle. So yes, this could fail in time. But this is a sealed box. It's only protection to make sure the battery doesn't get uh, covered in dust. So even if we don't have it at all, this will still work. So let's see, slide in the battery. Did I manage to slide it in? No, I didn't. This is a big battery. I think now it's going in and it's locked in place. Not coming out, still have full visibility to how charged it is. Close this and be done with it. So, uh, yeah, I think I have everything in. Not sure if it can actually draw something by mistake in it. I don't think it can. So let's give it a power just to hear how loud it is. So get ready. Okay, it's loud, but not really loud.
seems to have decent suction power, but only time will tell when I start to use this uh, in the house, when my wife will use it. For sure she will tell me if it's enough or not. For a workshop to to uh, to gather who knows what chips, metal, plastic, wood, whatever you work on, construction stuff, I think this is great. For the house, time will tell. Hopefully wife will approve it because I want to have only one thing that can do them all and not two separate things that don't do basically any other jobs. Just noticed something uh, nice when I was draining the smaller battery because these were drained uh, by using them actually and I charged them to 100% both of them so we can uh, really compare uh, the suction power between them uh, so while draining this when it goes to to low battery uh, be careful at the noise you will see a lead blinking So basically you will see that first before this will simply turn off on you but it's true when the LED is blinking the battery is already quite low so you don't have much uh, vacuuming uh, left maybe one two three minutes or something like that but at least it gives you a warning and that uh, doesn't just shut off like that on you so and that's one of the reason I think they made uh, this clear in here to be able to see the batteries from all sorts of angles, the LEDs. So yeah, that's about that. Now let's do a test uh, against this vacuum cleaner that it's replacing the other big one and uh, hopefully the suction power is decent. Ready to test the suction power. All three batteries have been fully discharged and then charged. Come on. So we can see a clear difference between them. With suction hose, no filter in the vacuum cleaner. So it's pure suction power without uh, anything uh, stopping it. And you might think, why is that? Why? Everybody is going to use different filters, so my filter might not be like your filter, so... Yeah. But I, I can at least show you a difference between these three sizes of batteries, so you make an idea which one of them uh, is the good one for you. So, uh, how I will test? I'm going to put this uh, right at this line where the carpet is carpet is cut in here and then with these two balls I think this is a golf ball honestly uh, quite old I don't even know where my wife has this from and I will try with different batteries to see how close it needs to be to this to start drawing it in and if this is too heavy for this test which it might be we will try with this one which is much much lighter basically a feather to see from where it starts to draw it and we'll be using these three stones something like that for these batteries I will put it in place so let's say the weak battery from here stronger battery from here and strongest battery from here something like that but we might end up with them something like this so let's do the test and see Okay, so this, uh, I couldn't really use it, it's it's too heavy, at least on this surface, also it has the dots, so it only draws it from, from about this distance, it seems, with uh, all batteries. I didn't even test with the big one, but let me just test now, so be back in a second. Yeah, so this is not good for this test. With this one, I've seen that... Uh, basically there's not much of a difference between uh, these two batteries so that shows us that the power of the electrical motor inside of this cannot uh, benefit from this stronger battery 
it will just have a longer run time with it. So basically I can use it with this without issues. For the smaller battery, we can see it doesn't uh, have enough power, basically. You can use it, obviously, but it will not perform at the maximum. So maybe, maybe this was maybe just a bit stronger. This surface is not quite ideal for, for this test, I know, but still gives us a clear difference between these two and this one. So yeah, but what I've seen with this, when this gets fully in here, this seems to, um, to give it a, a bit more power when it's fully loaded, but that's a situation where you don't really want to be, you don't want to have it fully clogged up. So maybe what I'm thinking when the, 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 how you call it, that thing right there, the brownish one, the, the dirt bag, if that's the correct term for it, when it's really full, this might help a bit more than this, but not a lot. So bigger one, it will just give you a longer run power. Or if you are using it in four amp mode, it can work like this one, but then it will just last longer in time because you are not using the full uh, capacity of the batteries. Basically, you are not wearing them out uh, as quickly. So yeah, up until now, all is good. I know what I'm be going to be using it, mostly these two, but mostly this, because it's lighter and it's more convenient and still performs well. At this point, I'm going to test the Eindhell against this huge Bosch in this tiny Black & Decker. The Bosch is 1700 watts and this little guy 780 watts. Hi there. So let's see what they can do. Again, we'll be using our little stones for the Einhell, this little cool one, Black & Decker and Bosch. Same mode of testing. All of them without filters, just for raw power. And the test results are in. So Black & Decker beats it just a tiny bit. Bosch beats it a bit more. But I realized something with this, I'm actually measuring more airflow than suction power. And I've seen that when the Bosch basically wanted to eat up this ball right here. Uh, this thing also grabbed onto it better than the Einhell. So uh, in terms of airflow, Einhell is almost on par with uh, those two. But in terms of real suction power, this is better than the Einhell and the Bosch is much better than the Einhell and than this, obviously. Actually, from, from the power of the Bosch, which is more than twice the power of this, it's quite obvious. Uh, but for me, at least, the fact that this can do all and it's cordless and uh, smaller than the huge Bosch, it's, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this and sell the other two for sure. For what I need it, uh, this is better. And I want to mention we have uh, a Xiaomi vacuum uh, mop that's doing the carpet cleaning in the house. Not in this room because this is just a temporary old carpet still in construction. Anyway, the house, I mean, still in construction. So, uh... Yes, this will be used mostly in in my projects and for the wife, for the stairs and areas where the Xiaomi cannot reach. And this is plenty for those things. We don't have thick carpets, so it will never work in full load. It's going to be mostly cleaning uh, dust and hair and whatnot in areas where the Xiaomi cannot reach. 
and that's about it and it's uh, powerful enough for that and again it can actually vacuum water uh, okay so vacuumed the whole house where the xiaomi cannot reach daughter in the background clean the, this thing up to clean it you simply get it out of here obviously and then just move it along this many many times and it will clean it quite well uh, still a bit of uh, debris in, in here some fluff but uh, anyway it's mostly clean it has hold up quite well as you can see so happy about it yes i will try to get some uh, proper attachments uh, like adapting this uh, this pipe somehow and uh, a proper floor attachment and whatnot but i even managed to do it with this so for the car for example this thing will be awesome let's see how much power we have left 13 percent from uh, i think it was about 75 percent full when i started the job this is the big 6m power uh, battery and inside let's see what we have so i put uh, one of those uh, bags in here daughter wait a moment so this just is a secondary filter and this remained quite clean and as you can see the bag is quite full in here so yep it has done the job can we get, simply get it out yeah we can it will make a bit of uh, mess but not a lot so i think this is still usable for a second uh, a second time uh, yep up until now this is doing exactly what i was expecting from it what gets a bit um, annoying is this flexible uh, elastic hose it kind of pulls you all the time i might be trying for the whole house where the xiaomi cannot reach uh, to use a normal hose i think i have a few left from old vacuums for the car this is awesome so yeah up until now i can replace uh, the other vacuums with this one without issues yes in suction power it's less than those but for what i need it's way plenty i don't have again thick carpets or anything like that inside the house okay i'm also using this for what it's actually meant to do being kind of a shop work vacuum i actually removed the the bag from it from uh, from that as you can see it down there it's i'm actually using the inside of this as storage if you can believe it because this bag is quite small that i'm using it's not the original one and i haven't seen any trace of dust on anything in here so that is actually capturing all so i have even more power now without the blue uh, bag in there and for something like this these are quite big so for sure they will not escape so does a perfect job and when you are done with it in this uh, shape you can actually press this in here and carry it around where you need it which is great okay so this thing having wheels is awesome yes it's a great idea that they decided to actually put wheels on it <clears throat> yeah let me show you what i did here so I bought these little things, just double sided tape them in there and at least for the moment they seem to be holding really well and uh, if anybody from Einhal is watching this, you could actually sell something that's clip on. So redesign just uh, the plastic a little bit in here to allow for uh, some clip on wheels that you can sell as a kit for a few dollars or euros or whatever. 
in case somebody wants to have wheels but if not this is doable what i did here yes in theory it only moves like this but this is light enough that at least in this kind of surface you can move it in any direction so yep that's a great vacuum cleaner and i almost drained the huge battery weirdly enough it's still powering on Let's do a final test with the vacuum. As you can see, installed this uh, mesh in here, took everything else out, put this back together, seal it, big battery in there, and totters decided, hey, why not make a little pool in the bathroom? That's nice. So, yeah, and the guy that built this house also decided, hey, why not uh, not put a drain outside the shower uh, area? Thank you, guy that built this house. So, I until I can actually create somehow a drain, this or a mop, but I have this, so why would I use a mop? <laughs> That has worked better than I expected it to. Uh, yeah, obviously I still have a bit more in other areas, but for what we intended to do, clean that big pool right there and see how this behaves. Well, let's see. Oh, ho, ho. Now this is cool. You can see water dripping in here. This is actually cool. <laughs> so we gathered a fair bit of water in here with it yep this vacuum is awesome on wheels that's my uh, idea and help uh, hit me up if you want to do something like that so yeah what can i say about this vacuum honestly for what i need around the house i can deal with a single vacuum that's actually meant to be used in a shop I will uh, try to find some uh, more house friendly attachments for it maybe someday in the future but for the moment this is a go and we can use it as is if you are thinking output bone dry absolutely nothing in here all the water remained in here and got caught in that mesh and dripped back down perfect job so did you think i will end it like that i present you the new and improved and on this basically uh yeah and some hairs that got caught i will also show so uh, show you how to clean that at the end uh, i found this thing laying around it's a 40 millimeter coupler for uh, drain pipe basically had a piece of drain pipe that was previously used as you can see it's quite scratched but i don't care it fits perfectly cut it to the proper length and it's working perfectly that's all i can say so this thing can now be used inside the house where the xiaomi uh, round guy that you see there cannot reach this will be used to do the trick wheels haven't moved a millimeter since i put them in there and they are doing their job perfectly so yeah at this point i just need a, a wider and bigger uh, attachment for this to not overuse this because i want to also use this in my car directly with this so i will not use the extension in my car but my parents have tons of these uh, attachments from their old vacuum cleaners i will just figure out uh, eh, a bit of dirt I need to figure out one that uh, is about 40 millimeters on the outside like this pipe or about 36 uh, on the inside 
that would fit uh, inside this pipe directly without this coupling right here. So, yeah, that's about it. So this uh, vacuum cleaner, honestly, is freaking awesome and will be put to good use uh, around the house even by my wife. So, hope this video helps you, in which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always, see you in the next one. Bye!